Weather coverage you can count on with meteorologist Grace Anello and the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. Well, we have a slightly cloudy but now dark night on tap for your Saturday. We can see some of those clouds in the Rocket City, a few even in Gunnersville, but we'll start to see less and less of those clouds as we head through the rest of this evening and even into overnight tonight. The Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network at 6.15 on your Saturday evening is also completely dry and that forecast is going to stick with us for the rest of tonight and even into tomorrow. Let's get a check of your dinner time temperatures. We're seeing quite a bit of variability here. Warm in Huntsville at 57 degrees right now. Touch colder in Decatur only at 51 degrees. If you're in the Shoals, well, temperatures at 56 for you. All of this meaning that you'll need a light jacket if you head out the door this evening, but you can leave that heavy winter coat from last week at home. Now we'll keep a slight 10% chance for a sprinkle as we could see one stray sprinkle throughout the evening for the most part will be completely dry tonight. What we will see is decreasing temperatures getting us to the mid 50s by 9 p.m. and also decreasing cloud cover, which is certainly a good thing for those who are planning on safely setting off fireworks this evening. Well, the countdown is on just under six hours until the new year. And if you're staying up to watch the ball drop, temperatures at that time will be in the low 50s. We will be dry with slightly less cloud cover. And of course, we're going to be staying on the warmer side as that temperature is well above average for this time of year. Well, if you're waking up early on first thing on Sunday, 7 a.m., you're going to have more cloud cover than we're actually seeing right now. That temperature also going to be in the low 50s. Now, we'll see that temperature quickly warm by 10 a.m., bringing us to the upper 50s, but we'll also see less clouds as we get later in the afternoon. So the moral of the story is a.m. clouds, p.m. clearing and sunshine. By the time we get to late afternoon, our high temperature is going to be in the upper 60s, plenty of that sun peeking through, and dry conditions are going to stay with us for the first day of 2023, which I think is certainly a nice way to start the year off. Soak up those dry temperature or those dry conditions rather while you can. We'll welcome plenty of rain back during this work week. Now we will see scattered showers on Monday, but Tuesday into Wednesday morning, it's torrential downpours and heavy thunderstorms. All of this starting due to several fronts and low pressure systems that are making its way across the Ohio Valley now, eventually going to cross over the Mississippi River and bring rain here to us in the Tennessee Valley starting on Monday. So the moral of the story is plenty of sunshine by the time we get to tomorrow afternoon warm with temperatures in the upper 60s will be beautiful as we head into Monday morning. But by the time we get to lunchtime, well, more rain is in the forecast. We'll see heavy thunderstorms all day Thursday and into Friday coming from a cold front, which is yes, going to drop our temperatures significantly and get us much closer to normal for this time of year. Thursday and Friday, we have high temperatures in the low 50s and wake up temperatures in the low and mid 30s.